For a customer when they're trying to calculate ROI, it can be a little bit difficult when it comes to a storage system because they're all, they're all a little bit different. But a few major things we want to focus on for an ROI calculation would be the following. Offcut utilization, damage boards, future growth, and space savings. When it comes to damaged material, we estimate on average that about 2.5% of daily board usage is damaged material. Offcut utilization, with a storage system, we automate that process, at least when there's a saw involved. And for, for a lot of our customers, that means about a 2 to 10% offcut yield utilization versus what they're doing today. For us, I mean, about a third of our ROI, I think, is in damages and inventory management. Like, currently, we cut 1,000 sheets a week of material. So, you know, let's say on average we're cutting, let's say 50,000 sheets a year. I mean, imagine if that's 5% of, of that is loss and boards are $50 a sheet, you're gonna have some money in there. If you could reduce that, you could save money essentially. So there's, there is an ROI on that aspect of it. I, anything when it comes to investing, you know, what am I gonna get? It's the first thing somebody asks, they want immediate return. What can I get immediate return on investment? Well, you know, you gotta, you gotta look at the long term. Obviously the equipment that we purchased you know, utilizing everything and the tools that are out there right now when it comes to software. Those are tools that help your employees work smarter, not harder. Anything that we can do for our guys out there to make their jobs easier, that's what we try to provide for them. You know, we're looking at ROI, what helps us decide uh, to make some of these investments. Labor is not the biggest part of these equations anymore. Capacity is. When we buy this equipment, we're buying and purchasing capacity, the ability to grow. In terms of efficiency, uh, over the past six to seven years, we have tripled our output using the store tech. And it's not all attributed to the store tech, but it's been a key part. With a storage system, it's constantly working for you. In a single eight hour shift, we can do 700 plus movements with a storage system. And with that, you can pretty much come to this conclusion that whatever you put underneath the storage system or whatever you want to feed out to, you know, outside of a storage system, we can do. 